Welcome to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. You will see today one very motivated guest. We have Ron Thomas to my left. Ron is a producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Before I reintroduce Ron and have him say a little more about him, uh, himself and about his program, I'd like our viewers to know that Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. Lately, we have also been accepted in all the five boroughs in New York City. So you will find us on Regards Media, which is in Brooklyn. You'll find us in Queens on QP TV. We also air in Staten Island Monday through Friday every day. And in, what is the other borough we have? Bronx, and in Bronx. So it's a daily show in Staten Island and um, SI TV, SIC TV in Staten Island and in MNA, at MNN. And it's a weekly, once a week show in Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens. So we are all over the place. And if you'd like us to come to wherever you live or work and you can get us at your uh, home or your workplace, you can always go to MNN.org. MNN stands for Manhattan Neighborhood Network. That's where we film these episodes. Um, MNN Studios is located on 59th between 10th and 11th Avenue. So if you want to come and sh uh, share the joy, share the joy of stretching with us, feel free to come and stretch with us right here on the mats. When you do come over, we offer you a copy of my third title, Yoga Secrets. I'm going to hold that up for our director, Josie and Hurd. You, oh, Yoga Secrets contains eight plus two ailment specific cards. So there is, there are, there's a primary card with all 48 postures. We follow a simple stretch sequence called 48 plus that targets 48 simple stretches that target 32 major muscle groups, glands and organs in under 20 minutes. Do we have 20 minutes for a good health run? Oh. You must. <laughs> Ask Ron. He's one of the most motivated participants. It's a pleasure to have you back on the show, Ron. Besides Yoga Express, the title, the book, we will also offer you a very simple postcard with all 48 postures and a fridge magnet. So you have these stretches. Stick this on your fridge. Put this in your briefcase or your handbag and keep the book at home so there's no escape, no excuses, not to stretch. I'd like to thank our facilitator, Richard Swanson, for the amazing studio lights, the gobos, the settings, and uh, the music, the sound system as well. And of course, our director, Josie and her. Thank you so much for making this episode happen for Ron and me. Ron Thomas, please remind our viewers, now your program is called Big Talk. Tell us a little more. Every day we have new viewers. So don't feel you're repeating yourself. Also give us another dimension about you. Well, Big Talk is a great uh, talk show, and it's one hour on Channel 56. We have uh, a lot of controversial subjects. Uh, and you I, compete for our airtime? Well, we share. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So, what's the latest now? What's the latest topic you have? Well, I, had an, I found an old uh, James Baldwin film with uh, Dick Gregory. They went to... London and had a big talk with uh, the people over there about uh, the civil rights movement in the 60s. And I was in the, actually at, at that time. So it's like an undiscovered gem that I found. <laughs> a little treasure right there. Wonderful. 
Welcome back to the show, Ron. It's always a pleasure to have you back and to see how motivated you are to make progress. I would like a little bit of feedback from the la last time that we taped. This is a tape show, viewers. Know that this is a tape show. Of course, we, we go live to tape, which means we do not edit. So you make a mistake, you get right past it. You learn to forgive yourself. From the last time, you remember the last time we taped here? I think it was last week. Today is a Tuesday. Or oh, Wednesday. It's Friday. Yeah. Last, last Friday. Friday, yes. How did you feel that day when you went home? It was well, I, I don't like to take pharmaceutical drugs, but I have a... Uh, Pain in my knee, so. After the taping? Uh, no, uh oh, really. we're in trouble. <laughs> but are you feel? Do you feel an improvement? Yeah, I have a knee injury, so I have, I have right. pain. So, right. yoga helps me to overcome the pain. Ron is also going to be featured on our Wall of Fame as one of the committed participants. Ron will be up on our site maybe around February, around about the time of your birthday, actually February seventeenth. Yeah. We're going to have your profile up there. I love the way you closed your little write-up, saying yoga gave you a new lease on life. That was yeah. beautiful, very poetic. Do you write poetry? Yeah, I, I was always a writer ah, in high school. It was very well expressed. I studied amazing. journalism in college. You studied journalism? What do you? In high school and college, actually. Wow. And you wanted to be a journalist? Yes. And you t ended up being a producer, which is not too bad. You still get to interview yeah. people. I kind of had a bad experience in college. I said, uh, what, you I got plagiarized the paper. I said. Who did I play with? I don't know who you played with, but it was, <laughs> it was well written, so. It was well written, so you decided to borrow it. <laughs> no, I, I wrote it well. It was a paper on mass media, actually, of all, okay. of all subjects. Paper on mass media. So I kind of got disenchanted with literary people. Right. <laughs> but now well, I'm back. I'm back into in literature. Fact, and I think you have a very poetic yeah. way of expressing Well, I, I kept yourself. writing. I wrote uh, with uh, Lloyd Strayhorn, the numerologist. She had a little newsletter. Oh. Okay. And, and you used I, to write about stars? Yeah, I used to write about the, the sky and stars. And wow, there are many dimensions to you, Ron. Yes. This and I did photography. Cool. And All right. I think Ron has been into a lot of things. I, th yeah. I thought it was just our director, Josie and Hurd, who used to do all sorts of crazy things. But welcome. Welcome mm -hmm. to the group. This is wonderful. So the many dimensions, I think we have to bring some of your pictures, the photographs that you took, maybe... You know, have people look at that if you've got some, still got some with you. Oh, well, yeah, I got a lot of them. I'm going to put them on uh, a flash drive. And okay, and them. maybe one day, one of these days, we'll have you put some of those pictures up. Yes. Maybe on a day when we have just you and me on the map, we'll have lots more time. Yeah, I'll do some new ones, too. That'll be great. Thank you for coming on the show, coming back on the show, Ron. Mm -hmm. Yoga Express has a lot of support. Participants who stretch with us, you have a lot of support. Besides this daily yoga fitness program, we also have a website, www.yogaexpress.com. We live in North America. We don't know how to spell. That's Yoga Express without the E. Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. We have a blog which has not been active for a while, but we will pick it up as soon as we find some time to get right back into it. Ron, I was thinking, I'm not sure if you have something, any specific sequence in mind. If you did not, I thought we would start off with some of the standing stretches. Sun salutations. You want to start with the sun salad? Let's do that. Okay. Ron gets to make the call today because he has been gracious enough to brave the icy winds out there. And as you can see, it's just me and Ron holding the fort. And of course, Josie and Hurd are director, Richard Swanson and Rich. So thanks to... All the support we have here, we're able to help you stretch with us. Ron, let's stagger ourselves. You're very tall, so I'm going to have you go uh, not too far back. You've got to take your legs back, so halfway. I'll come forward. Heels together, toes slightly apart. We're going to take you through a very simple sequence called the sun salutation. The sun salutation, if you notice, has only eight postures, eight to nine. So it'll be eight plus four repeats or nine plus three repeats. But within this simple cycle, which literally takes you about 60 seconds, you actually get to work every major muscle group, gland, and organ in the body, except the obliques. So Yoga Express decided to introduce one more posture into the traditional sequence to complete your experience. Heels together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Inhale, this is Namaskarasan. Inhale, take your arms, all the way up. Namaskar is prayer. This is Hasta Uttana. Hasta Uttana is arms raised, and you can see why. 
Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels all the way down. Dip your head between your biceps. Keep exhaling. This is a good moment to rest. You know, Ron, when I was, when I just started practicing yoga about 12 years ago, mm -hmm. my yoga teacher would say, this is a great rest posture. And I'd say, yeah, right, because it really used to hurt. When you're not used to stretching the back of the legs, this posture feels a little painful. But over time, it feels delicious. This is Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Our holding times, remember, are much longer in the studios. Adho is downward or down. Mukha is facing. Shwana is dog. Downward facing dog. The school that I came from used to call this Parvat or mountain. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Place your right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the right foot. Let's ease off. This particular posture is Ashwa Sanchala. This is a traditional inclusion in the sun salutation. We are gonna take it one step further. We like to call it the Yoga Express twist. We're gonna, first of all, exhale and dip. Ashwini is horse, Ashwa Sanchala like a horse or equestrian. Left knee is up, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left. We're gonna look away from the camera for just a moment. Place your left palm on top of the right. Raise your left elbow, look up at the raised elbow, and hold. We talk about holding your posture, not your breath. Keep exhaling, you should feel a wonderful stretch in the upper front of your right thigh. Do you feel that, Ron? Yes. Good. If you don't feel a stretch, that means you could go a little deeper. Inhale, let's come out of that. Place both palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in in the right foot. Lift your right knee off. Take the left to meet the right foot. In plank position. Plank or dandasan. And then knees, chest and chin. Exhale and dip. Before we do that, when we go down and we glide out, that's we're combining two postures at the same time. We exhale as we go down. Inhale and come up into Cobra. When we go down and exhale, it's called Ashta Anga Namaskara. Ashta Anga, eight limbs. Anga is limbs, Ashta is eight. Literally the eight limbs that make contact with the floor, the two hands, the knees, the feet, and the chin and chest, the so chin and chest. Let's exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Now, press with your palms. Let's first see how high we can take ourselves with the support of our palms and the tops of our feet. Inhale, press with the tops of your feet, press with your palms and let's come up. Once you're up there, press with the tops of your feet, engage your low back muscles, take your palms off of the floor. Now, when your palms come off, try to keep your feet on the floor. You don't want to lift your feet off. You might hurt your back. Palms are back on the floor. Forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale. Lift your buttocks all the way up. From Bhujanga Cobra, we're going to go back into Adho Mukha Shwanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Exhale. Press your heels all the way down. If your heels do not come down today, that's okay. Learn to forgive yourself. Place your heels on a block or a towel. Whatever you do, try to make the connection. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. Place your palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Now I deliberately brought my arms out to the side because today it's just two of us but if you're limited for space and you want to be mindful of people around you you may also wish to bring your palms all the way straight down the front now remember when you bring it down all the way down the middle you are actually preparing yourself for more of a meditative state when you bring it down to from the sides you're helping your body get a little more of an opening a little more of a stretch the pectorals get a little more of a stretch let's do round number two you ready for round two, Ron? Yes. I'm okay. Ready. Your, your chakras are moving, right? You're all charged. I'm waiting to see you sweat now. <laughs> there is
Because that's another thing. We talk about sweating. In yoga, we call it an internal sweat. What's happening is every time we move, in fact, as I was going for my morning walk today, it was so cold. Everything was covered except I like my cold, nose. <laughs> you like it? I somehow find if it's cold, it's tolerable, but if it's windy, really hurts. The blood rushes yeah. up and you get a bit... I get Where you live, it's today. always windy. Though, yeah. It is windy, actually. We're close to the water on that side and it's too windy. But I find, I was thinking to myself, if we can move, we can stretch. And I've mentioned this in several episodes before. And movement, movement is so important to heat up the body. Movement generates heat. So the more we move, the more we stretch, the more the heat rises within the body. And that's called chakras. Chakras are actually just vortices of energy that are rising within the body. So people who practice maybe three, four hours in a day, probably always hyped up mm -hmm. on good energy, right? Let's try that. Round number two. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Round number two, press your palms in, elbows are out. And remember, when you, the reason we keep our elbows out is so your mind stays in the moment. You could flop your elbows, close your eyes, and feel the difference. You're going to start thinking about your shopping list, what you're going to get yourself for your birthday next month. We yeah. have a birthday very close to each other, actually. Yeah. So I'm going to start thinking about other things. So you don't want to wander. You want to keep your mind nice and alert, centered in the moment. Inhale, take your arms up all the way. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms. Now remember, if your fingers do not touch the floor today, right away, it's okay. Bend your knees just a little bit. When you've made that contact, keep your fingers nice and firm, then straighten your legs. This time, take your right leg back first, and then the left. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps. Keep breathing through the belly, abdominal breathing. With every exhale, try to dip your head a little deeper. Now inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Place your left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the left foot. Let's ease off. Ashwa Sanchala, Ashwini is horse, as we reminded you. Right knee is up. Now for the Yoga Express twist. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over your right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left. Raise your right elbow. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. And especially in this posture, Ron, that's a reminder for both of us as well, especially in this posture, because it is a twist, you'll feel a wonderful compacting of your obliques on the right side and a delicious stretch of your obliques on the left side. And what's happening is with every twist, you're you're taking your body in opposite direction, so your upper body goes to one side, lower body goes to the other side, and that's the twist. But what you're really doing is depriving the glands and organs in the upper and lower regions of fresh oxygen and fresh blood for just a few seconds. And then when you untwist yourself, that's when you feel wonderful because fresh blood rushes in, mm -hmm. fresh oxygen rushes in. Let's inhale, let's come out of that. Place both your palms beside your right foot. Curl your toes in in the left foot. Lift your left knee off. Take your right to meet the left in plank position. Now, you don't have to hold plank for very long. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Press with the tops of your feet, tops of your palms. Bring yourself as high as you can today. And then press with the tops of your feet. Take your palms off of the floor. Engage your low back muscles. Take your palms off. Palms back on the floor. Forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale. Lift your buttocks all the way up. Exhale. Press your heels down. Keep breathing. Keep exhaling through the belly. Inhale. Bring the left foot and then the right between the hands. Place your palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Ah. Before we do round three, I love that sound. That's a beautiful sound when you know that you're feeling great. Mm -hmm. You're happily tired. Feedback before we move on to the third round. How do you feel? Oh, I'm starting to get my yoga legs back. <laughs> Ron is starting to get yoga legs back, and you're, you're going to now start doing all everything else that you've been into, your basketball, your 
Will you ever ride a bike again? You got thrown off, right? Yeah, I'm gonna ride it. I'm gonna ride again. You want to ride it again? Yeah. See, there, are, there are lots of things that yoga can help you catch up with. You've been, because of all the movement that's happening, all the lymph fluids are flowing under your skin, your blood is circulating much better. Yoga has five main principles. The primary one, of course, is gravity. We use body gravity, but also circulation is another one. Deep breathing, uh, organ and gland massage. So you do have, you do have some guidelines which will help you take which will help take you through these postures so if you know for instance that all the circulation is doing you some good you're going to feel motivated you're going to feel recharged let's try that Josie and how are we doing for time you can call it out all right you have time okay great thank you round number three this time we're going to call out every posture we're going to hold it a little longer than round number two and we are going to try and do both sides in the same round. Let's see if we can time ourselves. It's probably going to take us, the typical sun salutation will only take 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Because of our holding times, usually in sun salutation, you might hold it for two seconds. We are holding it eight to 10 seconds, so we may take five minutes for the whole cycle. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take you through these postures one at a time. Namaskara, so namaskar is prayer, heels together, toes apart. Now close your eyes for just a moment. Notice if your body is swaying to the right or to the left. Try to center yourself. Very gently open your eyes from Namaskar. <coughs> We're going to take you through Hasta Uttana, arms raised. Hasta is arms, Uttana is raised. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. Now this posture is especially good for helping you expand, open up your chest muscles, your pectorals, your intercostals get a beautiful stretch and your triceps get a delicious stretch as well. Now wiggle your biceps behind your ears, exhale, fold from the hip, pa the hasta, the hands to feet. Hasta once again is hands, pa the is feet, place your palms about six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back first and then the right. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, or Parvat Asana, Parvat is mountain. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your head between your biceps. Keep exhaling through the belly. This is especially great for the pancreas and the glands and organs in the mid part of your body to feel free and do whatever it is they need to do, do their job, to optimize their function. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Place the right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the right foot and let's ease off. Ashwa Sanchala, Ashwini is horse. Ashwa Sanchala, like a horse or equestrian. Let's take this a step further. Exhale first and dip your hip. Some schools warn you not to take your knee too far over the toes. In yoga, we tend to take a few liberties. It's okay if you're not in pain. Left knee is up. Now for Parswa Kona Namaskara, what we like to call the Yoga Express Twist. Before we get into it, Parswa is intense, Kona is Kona, Namaskara is prayer. So it's intense prayer twist. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left. Place your left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Hold it right there. This time you should feel a wonderful stretch on your obliques on the right side and a beautiful compression of the obliques and all the glands and organs uh, in the mid part of your body on the left side. Inhale, let's come out of that. Both palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in in the right. Lift your right knee off. Take the left to meet the right. In plank position for just a few moments. Bring your elbows in, knees, chest, and chin. We're gonna go down in just a moment. Plank is also called danda in Sanskrit. Exhale and dip. Ashtanga Namaskara, Ashtanga, inhale, let's come up into Bhujanga Cobra. When we dipped down Ashtanga, as we explained earlier in the first round, 
Ashta has eight angas, limbs, the eight limbs, two hands. Actually, I'm gonna have, do a little test. Ron, what are the eight limbs we were talking about that make contact with the ground? Hands, knees, Hands, feet. knees, feet. No, uh, chin. And chest. And solar plexus, chest. That's eight. So you have eight body parts that make contact with the floor. So you actually have a very good connection with the floor. Forehead to the ground. Press with the tops of your feet. Now you're gonna press with the palms. Inhale, engage your low back muscles. Let's come up. When you're ready, do what Ron's doing. Take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, curl your toes in, forehead to the ground. Inhale, let's come up all the way one more time into downward facing dog. Inhale, let's come up, buttocks up. Dip your head between your hands. As we keep stretching, we do realize that this particular posture can be an amazing rest posture when you start learning to breathe through the belly. It feels good, right, compared with Ashtanga Namaskara. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to sweat now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. Mm. Let's bring the right foot between the hands and then the left. Place both palms together. Inhale, come up with the straight back. Exhale and release. I believe wow. we have a couple of minutes left. We're ready to finish the other side. I did promise to do both sides. I believe I forgot. So we're gonna do the other side now. <clears throat> Press with your palms, elbows out. One last round. This time you don't need me to remind you about the names. We're just gonna go right through it. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the right foot back this time, and then the left. Exhale, press your heels down. Dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Place your left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes and the left foot. Ease off. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right. Place your right palm on top of the left and look up at the raised elbow and hold. Inhale, let's come out of that. While we're completing this posture, uncur curl your toes in, lift your left knee off of the floor. Take the right foot to meet the left. Knees, chest and chin. Exhale. Inhale, come up into Cobra. While we're in Cobra, I'd like to thank our director, Josie and Heard, our facilitator, Richard Swanson, under Rich's guidance. On behalf of Ron Thomas, this is Banu Suresh, signing off, and you are watching Yoga Express. Keep moving, keep stretching, stay with us. Curl your toes in, forehead to the ground. Inhale, buttocks up. Ron, don't go to sleep on me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it feels good, right? Mm -hmm. Inhale, bring the left foot and then the right between the hands. Place both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Mm. Exhale, and release. Actually, that does feel good. Yeah. You are sweating. I yeah, can I see if you sweat me. That's wonderful. That's Ron's chakras are moving. Yeah, Great. I'm really sweating. You ready for a night out on... What do you call that? Uh, bar hopping? Bar no, no. When you people go out to town, they go out to the city to all the different bars, I right? I gotta go to work after this. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Now you have 48 hours in the day. Yeah. Thank you, Josiane. If we're still rolling, that's fine. We're just gonna relax and enjoy ourselves. But that does feel good, because when you hold it for so long, you get more of a sweat. You do, you do. When you're doing it, but when we do the full sequence, I have to let our viewers know one of these days we're gonna get back into doing that. When you do the full sequence, it's more like a dance motion. So you have the you have the joy of finishing a full sequence, but you don't really sweat as much. Right. You sweat more when you have 